you seen the day of life of a Twitter employee video? No. I posted it. Oh, well. But go to, go to Twitter. <laughs> I posted it today. It's uh, Libs of TikTok. Aaron? This girl who worked at Twitter posted how great it is to work at Twitter. This is a day, you know, it's wild because it's not a job. Yeah. I mean, the, the, you know the Project Veritas video where they caught this guy saying that he works four hours a month? Oh, wow. I don't or understand four hours why, a week or I whatever understand it was. I don't understand why they needed so many people. They don't. But watch it. Play this. In my life as a Twitter employee, this so this past yeah. week went to SF for the first time at a Twitter office, badged in, honestly took a moment to just soak everything in. What a blessing. Also started my morning off with an iced matcha from the pit. Then I had a meeting, so quickly scheduled one of these little pod rooms, which were so cool. They're literally noise canceling. Took my meeting, got ready for lunch. <laughs> Look how delicious this food looks. Oh my my goodness i was so overwhelmed then made my way down to this log cabin area i don't know what this is but it was really cool played some foosball with my friends to kind of unwind a bit um, unwind tough day also found this really <laughs> my cool one meditation call. room that i thought meditation was room. super neat um i didn't do any yoga but they have this yoga room if you are a yogi so also thought that was really cool um had a couple more meetings in the afternoon had a ton of projects that we needed to knock out say hey to my teammates um <laughs> went to the went to the library to kind of get some more work done obviously had to have our afternoon coffee so made some espresso and then before leaving for the day had some red wine um that's on tap went up to the rooftop and just honestly enjoyed the beautiful weather. <laughs> I think we've failed in a couple of ways, and I, I mm. want to admit that. Failure comes with a big penalty. You're fired. Uh, I... Why don't we... Yeah. Elon Musk, the founder of Tesla and SpaceX, has fired all women from his new company, Twitter. According to reports, but he did say that women are unreliable and not as good at their jobs as men. When you buy a company for over $45 billion, you should be able to decide what kind of employee works there and how much they will be paid. You should also be able to fire anyone who does not perform well or cannot handle their job responsibilities. I want to show you exactly what happened when Elon Musk got to Twitter. Welcome to a day in the life of a UTC grad working at Twitter. Hey guys, I graduated May of 2021 and now I work at my dream job. I work for Twitter of Atlanta and here is just a normal day in the office. I definitely have UTC to thank for my confidence professionally. Um, everyone there taught me to be myself and strive for anything that I wanted. If there was one tip that I could give you, it's definitely to put yourself out there and make connections and network because you really never know who you will meet on the outside. And that is all, folks. I hope you liked it and go. Come to work with me at Twitter ATL. Welcome to a day in the life of a software engineer. I usually work from home, but today I'm headed into the office in San Francisco. It's nice outside, so I decided to work on the rooftop, where the Wi-Fi is decent. My daily to-do list usually consists of posting a Slack stand-up in the morning, committing code, reviewing pull requests, and meeting with other members of my team. Time for lunch. It's getting windy, so I move back into the office to do some more work. I love that the office has a music room where I can take a quick break. Got some snacks, then I moved to the library, one of my favorite spaces, to finish out the afternoon. 
Since I'm not in the office often, I walk around a bit before I leave. Now trust me Elon Musk couldn't work with these modern women spending all day doing nothing apart from doing vlogs, eating, and drinking relaxing on the roof. Most of all these ladies spent most of their time doing nothing as you saw that yourself. Nobody was working. Everyone was on maternity leave and women were taking months off for personal growth. Nothing was getting done. Elon is slowly just kind of putting the screwdriver in there and tightening up the operations. Now you're not going to see employees doing absolutely anything, and one of the first things Elon had to do was get rid of all the employees doing nothing and hire hardworking people. It's just college, just puke into a Silicon Valley company. And this is what popped out Well, Elon is slowly just kind of putting the screwdriver in there and tightening up the operations. It's as if college was puke into a Silicon Valley corporation, which is what came out. Well, Elon needs to make a profit today, so he has now replaced them with hardworking people. Elon had to get go of all the employees who were doing nothing and hire people willing to work hard. Who do you believe puts in the most effort? A group of women who spend their time going to Zumba and pull-up in classes, talking about how strict they are being with their diets, eating celery, and scheduling play dates for their dogs are not the people you want to be in charge of your firm if you want to appear successful. Now trust me, Elon Musk couldn't work with these modern women spending all day doing nothing apart from doing vlogs, eating and drinking wine as they relax on the roof. Most of all these ladies spent most of their time doing nothing as you saw that yourself. Apparently it's not only Elon Musk who finds issues working with women. These are other businesswomen, talking about how they really don't like employing women. I have a team of people. Everybody who works for me right now are men. I've noticed if I hire someone and they're female, I have to be careful about how I talk to them, even give, giving criticism. And maybe it's me, but I feel like I have to be a little bit nicer, a little mm -hmm. bit more gentler. Whereas with a dude, I can be like, can you just not do this again? And they're like, yeah, no problem, won't do it again. But if it's female, I'm like, okay, you did like this a little bit wrong, here's how to do it a little bit better. Overall, you're doing a great job, everything's fine, please don't be upset. What's the relationship between money and well-being? Once you have enough money to keep the bill collectors from your door, so once you have enough money to stave off misery, which is sort of lower middle class, something like that in our society, maybe a little, little lower than that, extra money does not help you. It does not improve your life. So why bother with it? Well, that's what the women in the law firms think. It's like most of them, by the time they're in their 30s, are married. Almost all of them are married to men who make as much money or more than they do because that's what women go for cross-culturally, four to five years older, equal or higher in the socioeconomic status. Women want the opportunity to develop their career in whatever direction they see fit, and fair enough, but they want an intimate relationship, and usually a monogamous one that's permanent, and they want to have the opportunity to have kids. And what you see happening inevitably, and I believe this to be the case, I've watched very carefully as I've, as I've grown up and, and, and got older, because I've worked with women my whole life, is that women are less com are less compelled by their career as they approach their 30s and more compelled by the desire to have a permanent relationship that, and a family biological too i would argue too I mean, well I, mean, I think it's it's a biological necessity because women have to have children relatively young that's correct but it's interesting to watch it phenomenologically and even the women that i've seen who've had very high power careers is that as they move into their especially their early 30s they start to realize that the career is a pretty one-dimensional enterprise, even if it's a good career. Because even good careers are still jobs. And good careers are also very hard jobs. They're like 70-hour-a-week jobs, and they're full-bore commitment jobs. And to figure out how to have a career like that, and to have a life, to have a family, to have an intimate relationship, to have children, and then to also be able to take care of them, that's a very complex um, that's a very complex job to manage. And so what's strange is, I think what's strange is that the very things that the radicals are undermining, like the monogamous family, are actually those things that women most want, especially as they approach their yes. 30s. And so this is a catastrophe on both ends of the, of the sure. gender distribution. Now the gender pay gap that women always talk about, and the focus they want to put in the work is totally different. Traditionally, women are meant to stay at home, bear children, take care of them. The main reason why Elon Musk firing women is that he has owned international companies and he knows how women act at work and how much effort they put in their work. To give your support, click the thumbs up button. Please leave a comment below if you would like to see more videos like this one. 
be sure to give it to the guys who are in the most precarious need of it.